Hello everybody, I am Brandman19 and welcome to a brand new series in Empire Total War. This time we will be doing Sweden, so I want you guys to go ahead and make sure you hit that like and subscribe right now because you will want to catch all of this as it happens. Also want to invite everybody to comment, tell me how hyped you are about this one. This has been asked for quite a bit. It is the last grand campaign prior to going to our world domination, which we will do with England, so now everybody knows. We do Sweden now and England next time to finish off Empire Total War. So that's pretty cool, right? Anyway, so let's jump on into it. So we are Sweden, or Staden, as I will say a lot during this campaign. I know I will. So, start year 1700. Sweden nominate, dominates Scandinavia and the Baltic, a northern European empire that is a legacy of the incompar uh, incomparable warrior king Gustavus II Adolphus. Even though he died in battle at Lützen in 1632, the army that he created helped Sweden profit from the seemingly endless religious struggles of the Thirty Years' War. The nation emerged from the conflict immeasurably stronger in military terms, and able to invade its Baltic neighbors at will. This military power did, however, cost money in Swedish lives. Neither of these commodities are available in abundance, and prudent stewardship has been necessary too. Charles XI, however, has left an impressive arsenal in place for his son should he wish to take up the sword, and Charles XII has an obsessive interest in soldiering. As a new century dawns, Sweden is in a strong, aggressive state. Surrounded by jealous rivals from whom she has taken territory in the last 100 years. To the east, the Russians would like unhindered access to the Baltic, and therefore Western Europe beyond. To the south, Poland and Lithuania wants its lost lands back. To the west, the other Scandinavian nations want independence or an end to Swedish domination of the Baltic. In all these potential threats, however, lurk opportunities for those bold enough to seize the chance. Individually, Sweden's rivals are not quite as threatening as they might appear. Russia is huge, that much is true, but incredibly backwards. There is no reason why the Baltic, as a Swedish Mare Nostrum, cannot become the basis of a new northern Protestant empire. Sweden's armies are the equal of any in Europe, and her navy is not without resources and skills. With a home empire secured, who is to say that an overseas empire cannot be taken and held too? So obviously they're kind of indicating you should go for Russia, you should go for Denmark and uh, Norway, you should go for northern parts of the Baltic. That's really what they want us to do. And that's also kind of mirrored here in the victory conditions. We have to capture and hold 25 regions by the end of the year 1799, including the regions shown. Brandenburg, which is right here, so we're going to go against Prussia. Uh... Ingria, which I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's like right in here somewhere. Or no, it's actually over here. Um, Norway, which is right here. Denmark, right here, which means I'll be at war with Iceland as well. Sweden, which I already own. Karelia, which is right here. Uh, Muscovy, of course, Moscow is right here. Uh, Courland, which is right here. And Poland, which is right here. So I'll be fighting what it looks like against the Prussians, the Polish, the Russians, the Norwegian, uh, Norwegians, and the Danish for sure. So that's quite a lot of that's quite a you know bit couple big players in there, like the Prussians and the Polish. So we'll have to definitely fight hard. We have four starting regions. We have a normal campaign difficulty and normal battle difficulty. No reason to make this any harder than it needs to. Sweden is one of the hardest nations to play. So Let's start the game and let's get this thing going. Super excited about this. I've been waiting for Sweden your for so long. Your first priority should be to use your strong standing army and navy to secure territory along the Baltic Sea coast, obstructing hostile Russia in their attempts to gain a cold water port at Ingria. By rights, all the nations of Scandinavia should bend the knee to Swedish power. So expand the boundaries of your territory to include Denmark and Norway, whilst maintaining good diplomatic and trade relations with countries such as Britain and France. With Russia on the offensive, it would also be prudent to court good relations with your enemy's enemy, Ottoman Turkey. Okay, so really sweet and short. So, all right, I thought that Norway was its own independent thing at the start. I guess it is not. That is okay. It can become independent if I am correct. 
These guys are both already hostile to us. There's no way that's going to help. Denmark's hostile off the bat, too. So no new trade is really possible. I want to go ahead and take this. You, my friend, will be going here. I have a fishing fleet here. I have a trade port there. Um, and this can become a dockyard eventually. So, first things first. Policies, taxes, and construction. There you go. Let's go ahead and make it that. Um, pull all of our troops. There you go. All of our troops inside of our forts or whatever, or our cities, whatever it takes. You're going to go on down here to the school. Um, he's an industrial guy. Um, maybe I do need to be doing this to make as much money as possible. Though researching empiricism is very important to me. Let's go into empiricism. We might as well. And then after that, we'll figure it out. Um, first turn woes. Are we at war with anybody? No, we are not at war yet. Not yet, but once I declare war on Denmark, Russia, and Poland come in. So something to note there. Um, once I declare war on Russia, oh no, yeah, Russia, Poland will come in. And of course, when I have to declare on Poland, yep, so <laughs> yeah. This is just a bad state we're in at the start, so might as well we might as well kind of like wait it out some too. Um, this guy probably should be lost anyway. Um, I want this guy lost too. We do need to make sure we're spreading our faith. Craft, craft, weavers. Hmm. We'll do that. Um, yeah, I have lots of not great troops at the start anyway. Um,. It's going to get peasant farms. It's a quick and easy win. 300. Could do all this. Uh, here's another quick and easy win here. 1,000 for an iron mine. Another 300 for peasant farms here. Now I could declare war on Corland and get Russia in right off without doing anything else. But I'd really rather go after Denmark. I don't really have to worry about Russia, uh, Poland for quite a while. I just don't. I need to build up an army first, I guess. That's my number one. And actually work on. Here's actually another thing I can do cobbled roads, basic roads, cobbled, cobbled. There you go. That's all I can do in that first turn. Use up all my money trying to build up a better tax base, a better money base, so I can put together a one army. No need to just jump the war against Denmark at the start. A trade agreement with Russia, they will give me, in exchange for Ingria and Estonia, they'll give me Komi and Karelia. What is Komi? No, why would I do that deal? That's a just a terrible, terrible deal. I'll let you try to attack, I'll let you attack me first. That way, if I can make him attack me, I don't have to worry about Poland off the bat. What's best is if Denmark attacks me, then I can just go after him and knock him out. War was declared. United Provinces on Spain. Prussia on Austria. Poland, Lithuania on Austria. Those farmlands are done. Did Poland and Lithuania lose Russia in any way? No. Did they lose Denmark in any way? No. Unfortunate. Okay. You. Church school. You. Church school. 
you church school. And we'll come can't quite do that one. Um thousand there. Two thousand there. And we'll come in here and do a thousand in the next one for that. We'll we'll create this in the turn. I need to creep every trade partner I can. A trade agreement with Poland Lithuania for four hundred. It's worth it. It is worth it to have that trade deal right now. I don't want to trade deal that bad with you, Russia. See, I can sit here for a few turns and focus on my own economy, which is far more important than going straight to war. Making 5,502. In the turn. Russia's declaring war on me. I'm not calling my allies in. I am at war now with Poland. Lith okay, uh, hold on. I'm at war with Russia only. Okay, that's fine. double check war with them I'm also I'm surprised I didn't go to war with Corlin don't they come in with them no okay yeah that's Polish okay that's the Polish protectorates all right you stay there I want you to come over here Get the cobbled roads there. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. How's this place? Um, not changing anytime soon. Let's send that guy down to there. This army here is not great. I need to switch in some new units. Uh, going in the turn. That way I can cruise through that one. Now would be a great time to take some of those northern provinces away from Moscow. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas okay. trade. That's enough out of you. Um This is more important. Let's 
Getting this opera is important. Conservatorium, Cannon Foundry, the Admiralty here. Actually, not the Admiralty here. The Admiralty here is more important. If it's really all that important at all. Um, let's go ahead and send this guy here. Yeah, there you go. He's going to promote that there. Animism's going down there. We're going to go here. I'd like to take that right off, but I think I'm going to sit a little while and build up my forces. Some tin stacks would probably do really well with this you know, two tin stacks would do well. A third one getting built and then slowly work my way up to 15 stacks. Yeah, I've had much worse ideas before in the past. Okay, moving that army up. Besides, Moscow is going to require a 20 stack, I'm sure, to take it. At least a 15. That's a 3,000 right there. Mm, can I improve anything over here? Iron workshops. I could recruit new troops here. But I'll be able to do that over here. And then... Could I do it now? No, I can do it here. There you go. I'm going to need to do that. Um... That guy's working here. I'm really just going to have him focus on going down to here. And then after that, I should have the best university. And I'll send the guy. Maybe I'll have another university too that can focus differently. Okay. Lots of nations. I can't see everything though. When I get ready, I could go in and ally the, like the UK or something. Okay, you are yeah, Protestant missionary. I need you here. A suspicious death, this guy. Let's go ahead and send this guy down here to infiltrate. There you go. Um, 2,000, 1,000. Anything over here? No, not really. That one's not as important as, say, that one, honestly. Major fishery going in here. I gotta get some growth. I'm 
I'm unfriendly with Corlin, but a trade agreement. Yeah, I'm not that 950. Just for now. I don't have to be friends with them forever, which I'm not going to be. But I should have two or three big armies when I take on Poland and then get ready to go hit Denmark in the same time. There's the Russians with the bigger army. There's another big army. Alright. You're going to hold that spot. You are going to take that. Opera House in Stockholm. To a Royal Observatory. That way I can get more uh, professors if I need them. Which I will. Is that even going to help? That's going to enhance prestige. Okay. Prestige is worth doing it for. Um, after this gets done, I can start recruiting normal troops. Okay, in the turn. I'm ready to start marching my way to 10 units in each army. Like, real good line infantry units, too. Alright. You know what? Why not? 645, 492, 687 is what we're against. Got a couple line infantry in their group. They've got some Kosick. Okay. Let's do it. We're going to have to. we got to break out. And we should have better troops than he does right off the bat anyway. I didn't think we'd get a battle in this episode, but it looks like we will. It'd be kind of nice to do that too. I did not have walls up in this place, so we will... You... those up These guys are going to move up into that. I'm just going to rotate them out. Um, you and you. Go move these guys over here. Pikemen. Militia, more militia.
There you go, yeah, knock out the demi cannon men. I would be happy if you did that. Just use cavalry to storm into that. Okay. There you go. We'll kind of hold this guy off. Exhausted. Take your shots. Doing fairly well right now. Hitting this foot line infantry in the side. Okay, there's more line infantry here. We're using militia to try to stave that off. go. Did pretty well shattering a lot of these guys. Go ahead and destroy the general if we can. Killed him, yep. Should be the end of it. March into that. Boom, march to it again. We broke him and shattered him. In the battle, heroic victory. We won the very first battle in the campaign. Killed 631. We lost 476 of our own. That's a pretty detrimental blow to a starting army. Don't get me wrong, he's probably already built more troops. You know, not as many as that, but I mean, he's got some building. And that probably really hurt him. Okay. Stockholm Palace. Yes, yeah, some of that stuff. Go ahead and do that. 3,000 just lobbed away. Um, Can't do anything else here except for put in a... Except for put in the uh, walls. I don't really have to do either. Could do that. Weaver's Cottage to get a little bit more money. Currently making 7,297 per. So. Spandum. Recruit. One more. And then it's going to be. That'll be what? Five? One, two, three, four, five, and then a sixth. So one. Two, three, four. Take a few turns. I'll get my army back up here. Um, as for you, well, the only way you're going to get up there quick is through there. Um, 
Let me see, can I help any of you that I like? I don't really like any of you. Um, You and you, 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 and you get rid of. I don't think we're really under any serious assault anytime soon again. We might be, but I mean, I'll be able to handle it from here. So, all right, guys, I appreciate y'all so much for watching. We're going to end it right here, but uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out the link for Discord in the description below, and I will see you all next time.